Well, I mean, once you attach, um, they're going to know you're there. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. man, you know, oh, you the know, breaching I mean, cube does its job. That's, uh, you know. I'm not necessarily sure the way we can do that. I mean, perhaps the smart thing to do is to attempt to hack in first. My back door could very seriously still be on their computer system, and we walk right in their airlock without triggering any alarms whatsoever if that happens. Right. I mean, that would be I, 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 it possible? Or I don't really know. Much Man, I reset it. all the settings on the ship's computer at one point in time. It's just how deep did they go in? But I mean, uh, I remember explicit, explicitly changing all the settings and setting it up hardcore when we got this. Yeah, I mean, you guys were you guys were in jump for what six weeks before to get back yeah. to Yeah, I was so. trying to impress the crew with my creativity, and I, I, you know, uh, I guess the first question we need to figure out is, is, did they find all my shit? If I've got a back door into the computer, we walk in and they don't even know we're here. That's that's a very good question. Well, let me bring us in. Welcome to the Pirates of Drenex. Uh, no. We will be picking up where we left off last week. So these guys are approaching the Rasputin class destroyer escort. Um, their last piloting check, um, they were still stealthed uh, using the Harrier. The, their Harrier that they are using, the Anubis, has been modified with a breaching tube. And they are going to try and just latch on like a Capri Sunstraw and do a boarding action. They believe... Um, it is their their tactical understanding that taking the Rasputin is really uh, the key to them defeating the Glorious Empire mercenary ships. Uh, so the this will be the first part of <laughs> part one of the Battle of Drenax. And uh, so that's where we're at. Uh, before we get started, we'd like to thank a friend of the Greenwater Guild Hall. None of these are sponsorships or partnerships of any kind. They are just products that we really like. Tonight, we'd like to thank Fable Beard Company. Fable Beard Company makes wonderful beard products. And they, the beard bomb comes in a tin that Gregor's holding up. looks just like that. In fact, I'm wearing the exact same one. I'm wearing, uh, that is the uh, Hero uh, beard bomb. It smells of a light cologne scent. Um, it's very nice. It's very nice. And it, it, it can keep your your mane under control. But they have a lot of different scents, and each of their scents is a different fantasy character. Um, they have so many scents. I would highly recommend just going through and reading the scent profile of, of the different ones, because they, they are all wildly different. So definitely peruse their site. They also have a site for the ladies, uh, Fable Beauty. Um, that they, they have uh, a number of different products, such as body frosting and a facial scrub, and they have uh, shave oil serum, and they've got an oil, uh, a hair oil, and they have a perfume and a deodorant. So de definitely check them out. Um, we don't have a code for them, but they do have a buy one, get one free option for uh, first time purchasers. So if you go to fablebeardco.com and create an account, uh, when you create that account, you can put two beard oils into your cart, and when you check out, use the code uh, FIRST in all capital letters, and that will get you a 10% discount. Or, I'm sorry, not a 10%. It, it'll be your second beard oil will be discounted to free. We have a uh, merch store via Zazzle. Um, they, they just, Zazzle has like a 25% off sale going on, I think. And, uh, like pretty much site wide. So if you're if you're looking for some last minute ideas, go to our store and pick up a t shirt or a button or we've got hoodies that have um, character portraits on them from our Saturday Brawnhaven game. Um, there is of course the Pirates of Drenax Pirate Flag T shirt and button made by Cameron. She designed that logo. Um, we've got a fleece blanket that comes in three sizes and there is a beer stein. Uh, with the Greenwater Mercantile and Adventuring Company logo on it. Um, really, I, I think the beer sign makes a far superior coffee mug. Um, if you if you like Giganto coffees in the morning, and I mean, if you don't, then you're weird. Um, that's definitely the mug for you. So yeah, if you want to help us out uh, with all the little subscriptions and bandwidth costs, uh, etc., 
um, that inflation is starting to eat us alive, just help us out and go get yourself a t-shirt. And we definitely appreciate it. So, you guys are, you're, the last check that we did, uh, you guys were still stealth, uh, and uh, Beth had not, uh, they didn't, they weren't able to scan you, and Beth uh, um, was successful in um, keeping you guys hidden. Again, I didn't set up my roller. Yeah. I've, been, I've been thinking about several different options for this. Is it, perhaps we could just go open up a maintenance shaft and enter the shift that way. You know? Well, just... um, so so this is what it says uh, in High Guard update. Uh, what is this? 2022. 20, is it 22? Um, think so. Breaching tube. All airlocks include flexible plastic docking tubes that allow passengers to cross from one ship to another by floating through the air-filled tube. A breaching tube is a military version of the airlock that may be forcibly applied to the hull of another ship. Instead of a thin Myanmar, the breaching tube is made of a combination, a combination of ballistic cloth and reflect. The breaching tube does not end in a docking collar but in a magnetic clamp with a ring of plasma torches that burn through the hull of an enemy vessel when attached. Uh, breaching tubes can be attached to disabled or otherwise inert ships. Um, if either ship moves after the breaching tube has been attached, the breaching tube is destroyed and the ship to which it is attached receives 2D damage. Um, in addition, if the breaching tube plasma torches have been allowed to begin cutting through the hull, the ship to which they are attached might suffer an explosive decompression event. Uh, refer to atmosphere and vacuum in the Traveler Companion for more information. Um, an attacking ship fitted with a breaching tube gains a plus one to rolls made on the boarding actions table, which we're not using, but um, I'll figure something out for that. Um, let's see. For more advanced rules, see boarding actions on page 125. Well, now you have piqued my interest. Because we are just talking about... Um, how boarding actions are a little less than uh yeah i didn't really i've just surfed all this and i haven't really seen so yeah even it says that the the tables in the core rulebook are an abstraction um, you know, yeah the, the part that worries me about using the, the breaching tube is the time it takes. And, right. and it's really only good for a ship we've disabled. But right. if, we, if we're able to use the rules where if we're adjacent to the ship, that we just uh, make a little dex check, we can tether each other and just jump across, you know? And then, yeah. I mean, in theory, we send the Anubis the fuck on. You know, and then we're just on the Rasputin for LR water, and we try to break into the ship and fight. Right, because, I mean, even this even says, um, the breaching tube, if either ship moves, then um, the, the tube is destroyed, and the ship... Uh, to which it is attached will suffer 2D damage. And the, uh, and the armor of the ship is so fucking high... That, well, you I don't. Mean... You don't have to worry about that with the. You don't have to worry about armor with the breaching tube. Those plasma torches. Once that magnetic clamp is attached, those torches are going to cut through. But it's the, the the armor means on the time. Yeah. According... No, that's a weird. That is that is a good point. Um, they there's don't a, there's bring a... up a time increment of how long this takes. Um. There was a, a table. Hold on. Okay, here we go. On page one thirty of the High Guard. Uh, yeah, I was just going to page one thirty actually. All right. So yeah, it 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 it's got the resilience and and the whole and in the the with the particle breach, and and so I mean, it's got kind of breach. Yeah. Well, but see, they get they get. They get pluses per point of armor, and and so I mean, like if you're taking 25 minutes at an armored ship hatch, you know. Yeah, you're talking. 
That's that's almost fifty. That's yeah, almost a, a score of plus fifty. Twenty per point of armor. What do, what do they mean yeah. by practicable breach, though? Let's see here. Resilience of starship components. So these are talking about cutting tools. Yeah, use the cutting tool to penetrate a door, create a breach. Average eight mechanic decks check. See cutting table for the tech level. The cut rate and cost for each tool. The cutting tool removes as a cut rate and a resilience. So yeah, each I mean round plus one. So that's telling you how many rounds it's gonna take. So I mean it's 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 to go through 24 points of armor, it takes 24 fucking rounds. Yeah. Well, if you're going through the hull of an armored ship, it's four. It's 400 plus 20 per point of armor. Yeah. And the Rasputin has like 24 or 27. Something crazy, man. As but surely it has like a, it's got like a Death Star vulnerability spot though, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, I mean, I think we should just try to jump across and uh, Armor 14. Yeah, so that's still crazy. Uh, jump across and try to go through either a maintenance hatch or hack the airlock. Uh, you know, we hacked the airlock just right. They don't even know we're opening that motherfucker up and coming on. And, that is and true. Then, and then by the time they figure out things, I mean, we're already well into the colonoscopy. <laughs> true. <laughs> this could go really horribly awry, though. So, it is... well, so could anything. Yeah. This is like true. That's... Pretty risky. This seems like the best bet that I, I think. <laughs> Any anything that that and, and and I think if the if the Anubis just lets us do a little tethered, safe, uh, leap over, then it can sneak the fuck away. It has no chance in a in a in a combat situation with this shit. No, it doesn't. And, and so I mean, we can stay in dogfight rules, but you need a real fucking good pilot to do that. Can we instruct them to jump away? Well, I mean, you don't. You're. I mean, once you get into close range, you don't have a choice. You're in dogfight rules. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, which I mean, I've never really gotten in close range. Sure. And I mean, uh, so medium, uh, medium range. That's still too far away to jump because minimum end of medium range is one thousand two hundred and fifty-one kilometers. That's a long, long. Oh, we gotta get adjacent. Right. To jump. Yeah, adjacent. It's in the rules. Yeah. So I So mean, I mean that's 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 anything, the stealth. Anything ten kilometers or less is dogfighting rules. So yep. um and I mean huh, that's gonna be some serious bonuses, I would think, to their sensor checks. Yep. I already passed the sensors check, didn't we? Yeah, but well, but they they get bonuses to their sensor checks to detect that you're there. Well, they, we already did that, didn't we? As you were approaching, but you haven't gotten that close yet. So, um, I mean, if that's what you want to do, if you want to jump across, you're talking about, I mean, either way, you're still going to have to be adjacent, whether you use the breaching tube or if you jump. That's right. So, it's up I mean, to you. We just got to hope. I mean, I think I think the way to go is just to. I mean, there's no reason not to be stealthy until we don't have to be stealthy anymore. I agree. It, I mean, until they catch us, why should we let them know we're here? So they fail. They have failed their initial detection. Yeah. Um. And we're. I mean, we're pretty good. I mean, we're not really thrusting now, right? We're just coasting in. I think so. Right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, she's got you guys at like uh, thrust one. You're, you're yeah. barely, you're barely putting yeah. anything out. 
So yeah, that's 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 my vote is we just trust the captain to get us there uh and uh and do a you know, get adjacent and let's just jump. Just jump right on over. They're not moving. So I mean Hey, you feel free to use Van Halen wrote a song about it. <laughs> What's it called? Jump. Oh, I'm fucking dumb. I'm sorry. So there's no Chris Cross uh, also wrote a song about it. Yeah, they did. There is no uh, they attack level backwards. difference. Uh, you haven't fired a weapon. Um, you're not emitting. You haven't been damaged. Uh, you're not using active sensors. They, you do. They do get a plus one. Uh, for your one point of thrust, and what are they you? They get a minus. They were bigly stealthed. And what are you doing with your transponder? Are you just having it off? Off. Okay. It's not on. It's not on at all. Right. If anybody even suggests turning it on, they get flogged and thrown in the brig. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. like there's. There's there's tape of a sign that says no right above the switch. You can't. I mean, you can't accidentally turn that shit on. That's always there, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we're subject to not. I mean, the transponder. Well, I mean, there's different modes. Yeah. That you know make you look more or less piratey, but all the way off makes you look suspicious as fuck. You know, you can have a passive uh, thing running, and it just looks a little shady, but understandable. And then the active ping is like, "Hey, look at me! I, I'm here." Yeah. Yeah. So, then active sensors gives them like a plus two. It's crazy. So my question uh, then is to determine what your your benefit of stealth is, um, because you do have superior stealth. Um, one of the things that it brings up is that savvy ship captain will know how to go dark. So, yeah. uh, what are you essential? I mean, we know you shut down the transponder, obviously. I um, mean, we know from last week that you were using um, passive sensors. Yeah. What are you, are you turning anything else off? Yeah, everything. Life support only, right? Man, do we really even need that? If everybody's yeah, in black suits and dress. shit, yeah, shut that shit off. Everything's strapped down. We're not even running fucking grav plates. We're coming in fucking dark, man. Okay, like so, a ghost. So we're you in are made of deep meditation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you town. fart, somebody's gonna plug it up so you don't do it again. <laughs> Just be quiet. So uh, you're being. Everybody's in vac suits or combat armor. This is mandatory ship wide, everybody. Right. So you're shutting off live sport. You're shutting off. So you're not emitting any heat. You're not. Um, the only heat that you would be emitting would be from your maneuver drive, uh, which is only giving them a plus one. I'm going to say that your stealth, if you've got everything shut down. Uh, you are at, they are at minus six with their plus one. That makes it a minus five to their roll. Um, and Beth, go ahead. And I assume that, so you're getting, you're trying to get adjacent so that you guys can jump and board. That's correct. So Beth, go ahead and make a uh, piloting plus dex check. And let's see how well you do. Yeah, 13. Okay, so... I don't think that's going to do it at all. They actually rolled a negative 2. So, um, yeah. Um, I mean, what does that look like? That That's an... Uh, well, negative, that means, negative yeah. 2 is still an average failure. They don't know you're there, and you're sitting right next to them. They are having like some fucking hothead is on the bridge giving a long monologue speech and it's boring, but it's got everybody distracted from their shit. Unlikely, (laughs) unlikely, but uh, so 
So, the XO is doing his, you're all in hell briefing. <laughs> you have all failed the last I think, few tests. I think I have. <laughs> so the rest of your crew on what the... What going to have your nuts? <laughs> the rest of the crew on the Anubis are in um, their combat armor or vac suits. Um, I assume you guys are in your uh, battle dress. Yeah. Or, yeah. or putting on your battle dress. Well, and, uh, it's been on for hours, and I'm plugged into the oxygen supply. The now, oxygen line. I have a question. Yes. If we all tether up and we just let the Sindalian death bots pull us over, uh, do we even have to make a roll? That is interesting. Uh, I've been putting a lot of thought into this, so you I know. can see that. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> I, I, I was pissed off when we lost this ship before. You know, yeah. I, I was like, uh, that really, I mean, that was like sitting on a plunger when you're going to poo. It, it, it's, it's terrible. That would be uh, unpleasant. <laughs> yeah, fair, yeah, and difficult to clean up after. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Captain uh, Beth needs to wake up. So <laughs> she must have had a tart hard day. I guess so. Uh, da, da, here we go. My cats are having Mortal Kombat behind me. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, Maybe They're feeling the vibe. They're like, oh, we're boarding? Hell yeah. So if you have the if you have if you, one guys, new if you guys all tether up and you have uh the death bots pull you. How many death bots are you having pull you? Two. Okay. Um, so you could you could do this a number of ways. You could have one death bot pull two of you. Um, you could have the two death bots attempt to pull all four of you, but that may be an issue because now you're talking about the chance uh, between two of them basically tangling up cords and uh, that sort of uh, thing. Um, well, I mean, can we just have them make two trips? And, and uh, you know, each one just kind of, you just kind of ride the death bot on over. You know, and and then we can. I mean, the ship theoretically has all kinds of little hooks all over that we can tether to, so we don't fly off the ship. Right, right. Uh, Do we have magnetic boots? Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. I think you guys did uh, get uh, magnetic boots. I figured they were like standard on going with the curve. No, I would think they are actually an add-on. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got to add on the magnetic boots. But yeah, wow. I think I think that it was stated pretty pretty early on that you guys wanted mag mag boots because I mean you're you're pirates, so <laughs> right. You know, in a lot of cases, this is going to be the sort of thing that goes on. Um, so looking at the dev bot. So I have flight on my suit also. Oh well, then you can just fly up. Oh, so you, you've got you've got grab flight. You basically um, have a grab belt strapped in. Uh, Did you add right? That? No, it was one of the things that came with this awesome suit that I got. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, maybe I should look up if mine has that because I don't really know. The the death bot is on one forty of the robot. Yeah, I'm handle. looking at him. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, huh. so, Sindolian Deathbots are not designed in absolutely any way for rescue operations. So, which is essentially what the kind of maneuvers that you're talking about. And so, um, they would... You could tie, uh, you could tie stuff off to them, and and drag. Um, I would say that you would each of you 
would have to make a um, average athletics dexterity check. Well, no, we'll we'll say that it's a difficult af athletics dexterity check, which would be a ten plus. Uh, before I take all those risks to blow everything here, uh, maybe just leave the death bots and let Keith fly us over. Give us a hug, Keith. Yeah, we'll just. Yeah, I could do it one at a time. I'm gonna oh, see. Yeah. It'd be adventuresome. <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, there's a there's a better option. So if uh, so, you we guys all, are uh, one kilometer or less. Uh, Keith, uh, I would probably go closer to the less if you're jumping. Um, Keith could fly over and attach a cable, and you could just zip line across. Yeah, sounds zip great. Line, yes, do it, Keith. All right, roll the. So, I enjoyed it, yeah. Keith. It was nice knowing you. What kind of check is that? <laughs> so, uh, for Keith, uh, you can make a. Um, As make Keith a, tumbles off into the engine exhaust. Of the <laughs> <right>? <laughs> make a athletics dex check, and this is going to be a routine. Uh, so it's six plus. Oh, okay. So that is uh, 11. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that is a average success. You you jump out of the airlock. You have uh, one end of a tow line attached to the airlock, outside of the airlock of uh, the Anubis, and you fly over, and uh, you perfectly line up with an airlock going into the Rasputin. Now, the airlock going into the Rasputin, of course, is closed and locked. It, I mean, you know, as right. as it would normally be. Um, and you're, you're able to attach this tow line. Wow. Nice. So you're, you're just hanging out on this arrow. Yeah, I'll just wait yeah, for everybody I'm, to show up. I'm, I'm going to go and and, and, and head over there to help them out. Uh, okay, so make a athletics, uh, it's going to be an average, or I'm sorry, a routine athletics uh, dexterity check. So either athletics, dexterity, or just roll uh, 2D plus your dex. Oh, well, I'm in, there you go. I'm, yeah, I'm in the, the battle dress, got really good <laughs> I've got really good uh, dex modifiers. Well, don't now. forget that if you have athletics dex, then that increases that skill. Yeah. So, oh, oh. so yeah. Um, what's your what's sport. your what's your dex normally? Uh, my dex normally nine. So that would be a plus I, one. Right, and then I've got a dex plus four, so I've got a 13 Which dex. puts you at plus two. Um, and then uh, it, what? do you have the athletics dex skill? At one. So, yeah, that would be a plus three. Perfect. Um, I got ten, so I'm uh, good. Okay. okay All right. Great. And yeah. then, uh, Gregor, if you're Gregor. going over on the zip line, go ahead and make an athletics dex check. How much is the dex on my suit? Uh, I believe it's plus four. What kind of suit do you have? Improved. Battle dress improved. Okay. Battle dress. Yep, it is plus four. So what's your dex normally? Twelve. Jesus. Okay. Uh... <laughs> It's the highest I have. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that jeez, uh, that puts you over fifteen. So that's plus three to your uh, to your so I get plus nine. So what do you have? Athletic stacks? No. Okay. So it would just be two D plus three. Seven. <laughs> that's, that, that's, Seven. You only needed a six. 
So, I mean, it's not stellar, and you probably do at least one loop-de-loo around the zip line, but you get over there. Uh, so, I mean, there was no failures. You guys all get over to the airlock. That is locked. What are you doing? Well, I mean, I want to pull out my handy-dandy notebook, and uh, I want to find out. I want to plug into the system and find out if they fucking closed my back doors and shit up. So I guess the first, my the first question is, uh, let me. This is the uh, what decks one and two. There are airlocks on uh, deck two here. Well, Keith led the way, so he picks all that shit. Hold on here. We're we're trying to go okay. to engineering, right? This is. Deck one. This says there's airlock here too. I don't. Oh, there are there airlocks. So there's airlocks on deck one uh, up here. There are airlocks on deck two here. And then let me. And there is an airlock on deck. Deck three. Uh, Engineering is on deck two, correct? Here. Uh, that's where we should have an aim for. I think you are correct. Engineering down the. Yeah, engineering is, 20, is on deck two, area twenty. Uh, engineering control room is down here. I'm trying to decide if deck three is closer to deck. Uh, to engineering, uh, the deck three airlock, or if the deck two airlock is closer, there's the same length. So it looks like right here. Let me confirm that. That looks like the staircase. Yes. So there is. So deck, uh, deck three, uh, or rather deck. Four, or ventral turret access has an airlock which would go directly to uh you could go directly to deck three and deck three uh leads down this uh tube right directly to here so that's the closest airlock yeah so deck well, four would be the, clo turret. the closest airlock to get into engineering that's the one to take Okay. Fun, fun, fun. So that has you got. Man, uh, I tried to. Uh, no kidding. That's a lot closer. I tried to zoom in, and uh, we're gonna have to theater of the mind a lot of this because this uh, this particular map is just so tight. I mean, the Rasputins. It's hard to do with these bigger ships because <laughs> the deck yeah. plans are are so packed full of stuff. Um, so. Uh, yeah, you guys are coming in, and I can zoom in a bit, I guess. You guys are coming in right here. Uh, are we? Yeah. yeah. And then we're going to go right down that tube straight into fucking engineering, and we're going to begin to do the colonoscopy. Well, how are we doing? How are we getting in? I don't... We're going number, through the airlock. Number lock. one is an airlock. So there, deck, oh, yeah. deck four has a ventral turret access. Oh, I didn't understand that. Yeah. Thank you. And then, uh, and then right in the middle of that is a shaft that goes directly down onto the boat deck. And from that, or rather up onto that boat deck and then up into uh, the engineering control room. Uh, Keith... And then we're sending the Anubis the fuck on. Is that right? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't need that. Man, they got a really good chance not to get caught. I mean, if they run dark and just go the fuck on and trust us to do this. What they need to do is four just, against just break enough that they double. that uh, they go behind the Asputin. 
Nobody's going to see them in the in their engine exhaust. They don't have engine exhaust. They're just sitting there. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> bovine. We just bol, we male just bovine up. feces. We just floated up on them and uh, jumped on over or flew on over, and then we're just going to kind of go on in, you know? They won't be worried about the other uh, ship once we start. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll uh, take their mind off of other things here pretty soon. <laughs> I'm saying, if, we, if, we, if, if we do the flawless victory on this, that means that we go straight to engineering, seize control of the ship from engineering, and, uh, and they don't know it until we begin actually doing system changes. So, Ting, do you have... Uh... Do you know what the piloting skill and dexterity modifier of your alternate pilot is? I actually have that information. Uh, it's going to give you. You can go ahead. Just... You can go ahead and roll their piloting skill. Oh man! All right. <laughs> I'll put the stress on you. Why? Why are you doing that? I got to pull up my roster. Just here it is. Drake's fleet roster, and. I've done the Anubis because I'm cool. Okay. So his pilots, too. His decks going to give him plus one. Sarah Hobbs. That's who our fucking pilot is. All right. I like and, how he named all of them, too. I mean, yeah. Usually, I the, the, them straight. I, a lot of them, I don't even name the plebs. Right and and Can and right now, one, yeah, drone one, one, drone two. Yeah, drone, right. Yeah. <laughs> right now, I mean, if we ask the captain, the captain of the ship is Captain Froth Shotgun Burns. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. I've got the I've got this whole crew named out. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm more I'm more like Mallory Archer from from Archer. Like, why are you talking to them? They're all drones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got to roll that plus three. I, I was just so happy I had the information <laughs> that I, I I just and everybody's just sitting there waiting on me. Sorry. Okay. All right. Ugh. Man, whoever the sensor operator on uh, on uh, the Rasputin is, I mean. They really need to consider firing him. He rolled a three and a one. So, you know, fuck that guy. He needs new colored dice is what he needs. So, uh, oh, they, can I? What he needs is to stop time. drinking. Before, <laughs> <laughs> would it have been okay if uh, we instructed uh, Sarah Hobbs uh, or that the crew of the Anubis that when they got the fuck away, they're to tell the Osiris and and our other ships that as soon as anything fucking happens to launch missiles versus the pocket mercury cruiser. Oh, the pocket warship? Are you are you having everybody aim for the pocket warship? I if they if well, I mean my thought process and then uh, again I, I'm really asking not saying let's do this, but uh if if they see anything fucked up happens, that means, you know, if, if they start making any kind of movements or anything like that, that means that we're the jig is up on us. And uh, the best distraction they could do would be to launch a volley of missiles at the fucking pocket cruiser and then uh, go hide because they're not going to win the fucking punch out. So but if, they, if yeah. they wanted to help us, I mean, I'll, launching around the missiles would be neat. I will let you see. Um... This is, you can pick which one you really want to focus on, but this is the pocket warship. Now, something to keep in mind, um, wow, that's big. Something to keep in mind is that um, <clears throat> the Hala uh class pocket warship is not very loved by most Aslan. And the reason is that it is a ship that attempts to do a little bit of everything, but it doesn't do any of it very well. And no. it is prone. It is. It is well known. Uh, Rexar would have told you this, and 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 he, you guys would know a little bit about this because the conversation has come up. Uh, Rexar would have commented on it. 
Um, because the flagship used by Hrol Irontooth is actually a pocket warship. Um, and so he would have commented on that, and I believe he did comment on it. Um, so it is, pr it is known to be prone, because it tries to do so many things at once, it is prone to maintenance issues. Um, in, for the most part, uh, the Hala Haiki class is kind of on the downward slide of probably, you know, either it's not being produced anymore, um, or it's being produced in very limited it, numbers. It, it's the smallest of the two ships that are the... Well, it's 1,200 tons, and, and probably one of its biggest threats is the fact that it does have 10 light fighters. Um, mm. But... Um, the it just it doesn't do things very well i mean it you know it's got uh four triple turrets uh yeah. that are beam lasers uh six triple turrets that are missile racks i mean it, it's still uh, it's still a very it's got bullshit unit. sensors the the chances are well they won't even see the missiles coming until they hit yeah improved sensors are are not good um i mean it only is going to get a plus one for its sensors roll um on top of uh the operator then there is of course the merc cruiser um this is the merc cruiser um, it's smaller at a thousand tons uh, but it is much more focused on its duty um it it has uh two pin pinnaces that it uses a drop ships uh, that's probably those two pinnaces are probably not aboard. They're probably on the floating palace because that's where it would have dropped off its marines. Yeah, it's got oh, a lot of turrets. Yeah, yeah, I yeah mean, but it does, the one thing that it does not have that the pocket warship does is that the pocket warship has two particle beam bays. So I mean, theoretically speaking, the pocket warship can deal out a ton of punishment, but it's kind of a glass cannon. Well, then, yeah, then I think they should launch the missiles there and retreat back to the fleet and wait to see what happens with us. But at the first sign of anything, if they launch missiles and fly away, uh, if they're not even detected, and these dumb fucks don't even know the missiles are on the way, then they'll learn about the missiles when it's when they blow up. Right. And, and that's what... I mean, the glass cannons that you want to fucking hit, right? Well, and the... The Merc Cruiser, it has, it also only has improved sensors. So, um, I mean, you're talking at most, uh, their sensor operators, you're, you're talking at most a plus two, maybe a plus three. Maybe fire a volley of missiles at each as they retreat back, but, you know don't get detected and don't get in a fight. They've got the thrust to stay the fuck away from these creatures, these, these ships. Right, right. Well, yeah, I mean, if, I mean, if everybody, sh if every, and, and, and so then my other question is, you, you're having the Osiris, the three Harriers, all launch missiles at the pocket warship. Are you, are you having them, are you having the fleet, the rest of the fleet? Now, keep in mind, they're further away. That's, they're supposed to go rendezvous with the fleet and see if we okay. were successful or not. Okay. And if I we're not it. successful, we don't give a fuck so what you're they having, do, right? you're having all the ships yeah. launch missiles. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, well, yeah. that's, that's a big, that's yeah. a lot of missiles. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, so, so you're at this airlock. Uh, the, you see the, you know, hanging on the, to this tether uh, outside the ventral turret access airlock. You can see uh, this, the dark shape of the Anubis kind of swing away, and you can see the, the very small glow of its uh, drive plume as it pulls away. And you don't notice that there, it doesn't seem like there's anything untoward. Um, you don't, I mean, you're, you're at the ventral turret access airlock, so <laughs> that well. turret doesn't move. So, your guess is that it's probably, you know, five by five. What are you doing? The airlock is locked and obviously closed. Is my back door still active? That is a very good question. You're going to have to roll something there, Ting. 
if you plan everything correctly, you don't actually have to roll anything. You just roll play. Well, you're <laughs> you're going to need to make a electronics computers plus intellect or education check, and you do get um, your you do get your intrusion software bonus. Okay. Uh, we're even there. Let's see how we find out. Okay. Ten. Your so you using your intrusion software, you discover that your back door is still active. Wow, way to go! I, I want to. Yeah, I want to silently unlock and open this airlock. Okay. Without it setting off any kind of sensors, warnings, or anything. And uh, and then I want to do an emergency lockout until somebody enters my code. No one can do anything on any commands of any computers on this ship. Everything you gets locked down. Won't have so, access to that from the computer at the airlock. Well, that really made my dick limp. But let's get in there quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no the 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 back door. Uh, basically, it is your intrusion software uh, cycles through a uh, pass key. And your back door okay. says, okay, and it unlocks the airlock yeah. and lets you win. Well, okay, cool. I got that. There we go. Yay. Uh, I'll open it up and look at everybody else and kind of, you know, be like, I am the pacifist. <laughs> <laughs> Inside, uh, there is a... Uh, Maybe you should drop a trank grenade down the, uh, down the shaft. <laughs> it's off. We have huh? to go up. Oh shit! Really? You have to go up. Yeah. Yeah. Or down? ventral. Or at the bottom. Yeah, this is at the okay. bottom. So you okay. climb. You would. There's a. There is a uh, tube that goes up that is devoid of grav plating. So you basically just float up or down. You shove off. Well, I suppose I could throw up pretty far up in a battle dress. <laughs> that is potentially possible. Yes. Well, let's get it off the roof. <laughs> So there, you un you get into this airlock, and of course, then there's the inner airlock door that you have access to now. And uh, on the other side of this is this short hallway, and the the ventral turret axis is this kind of T area uh, that basically its entire reason for existence is for if somebody needs to manually access this turret. Um, the question I have is, what is this turret? Look. Turning on my camouflage module shit on my armor. I will also stealth. Yeah. Okay. I will also stealth. <laughs> Yeah. So you're, you're all going yeah. still. Yeah. Well, that's that seems to be the smart thing to do. If we're in and nobody's found us yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me look at this other. I wouldn't get my helps up, but I'm going to start asking people on Saturday morning if they want to join. Going to go to a. Old folks singles club breakfast. Nice. <laughs> oh, nice, yeah. And there are a lot of us old folks singles. <laughs> right. I mean, you know, there's four forty five hundred houses in this community. Wow. Someone's yeah, gotta be in a sci-fi. <laughs> Somebody's gotta be. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that that turret on the ventral side is a triple turret of uh, beam lasers. Mm. Beam lasers, pulse lasers. Yep. Uh, we're 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 going on. We're on deck three now, right? Or are we still on deck four? You're still on deck four. Um, hold on, just a second. Hold on. I thought. 
my, my thought process on the missile attack would be if we're getting away on this ship, you know, to rendezvous with the fleet, all those missiles would hit the other ship and they wouldn't think about us as much. Right. Yeah, that that's a good thought process. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is better. Uh, the thrust rating on this thing. It's like five. That's like impressive. <laughs> yeah, it, it is fast. It's got thrust six, it's six. four. Yeah. So yeah, it those are triple turrets yeah. of pulse lasers. Yeah. It's got the element of surprise too. Like they're not going to see the shit coming at all. Yeah, so that's the best part. I'm surprised they have. I think I would have would have had double pulses and one sandcaster on each turret. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it, it has, uh, a single triple turret that are sandcasters. Yeah. You know I'll what, speak. actually, I'll I'll speak actually speak. looking at this, uh, one, two, three, no, this, this turret, ventral turret is actually sandcasters. It's oh. triple sandcasters. No. Oh. Cool. Well, we should launch some sandcasters. And, and there is the there is nobody here because, um, I mean, the reloading of the sandcasters uh, should be automated, and unless there's a problem, there's no need to send anybody down here. Uh, time out for one second. Let me fix this. Remember when we used the sandcaster on land? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, shooting we thought it'd be funny and then it like flattened the out. Yeah, it destroyed everything. Did a lot more than we thought it would. It was That's insane. funny. Hell yeah. That's the only way you know the destructive power of a weapon is to hit something with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we didn't know it was going to blast like near. Oh, yeah. The Sandcaster at crazy. close range for, border, for borders like will turn Marines into shredded goo. Yeah. All right, so what are you guys uh, doing? Climbing up to deck three? That's correct. That seems to be the way to do it. So you climb up to uh, deck three, and uh, essentially... It, was, it there... wasn't like a very advanced place. I remember that. It was part of where got flattened so hard. I yeah. can't remember what was there. Um, like a bunch of huts or something, yeah. right? Yeah. So the first thing that you notice on deck three, I mean, there, there on, is, um, here, there is a, a sensor suite uh, that's basically, it's like think, launch control. Think, yeah, yeah we're the same. I think it was on that. Yeah. So floating up uh, in here, the first thing that you mm -hmm. notice through the window uh, of the, or, or, or available that. through this mm -hmm. uh, window here is that you note that um, they have replaced the launch. For you. Mm. What's replaced with? So, well, when they when they initially found the rescue and the launch was missing. Okay, so they've yeah, they've. Okay, so Keith and Beth can't hear me. Um, oh, but we heard y'all. Yeah, you heard me. Hold on, let me reconnect. Can you guys hear Chris though? Can you hear, Chris. Chris. Can you hear me? Wow. Now? Yes. Okay. okay. That was uh, weird. Yeah, well, that's weird that some of you could hear me, but the rest of you could. So, yeah. right. so the first thing that that you guys notice, uh, if you remember, when you found the Rasputin, the launch was missing. Yeah, um, that's right. But through the, there is a glass panel here, um, through this window, you can see that they have replaced the the small launch. This here, uh, over here, is a essentially a sensor control suite. It's basically launch control. Um, "Quote unquote launch controls for for docking and uh, and leave and having the launch leave, and then there it, this this floating tube continues on. However, there is uh, there are two guys in uh, the sensor suite. They don't notice us. We're camouflaged. 
Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll have to roll some. <laughs> well, I can hope. <laughs> right. So you're camouflage I've got that it. Mine gives me plus three to stealth checks. Okay, so... Chameleon, full motion. That's TL12. What I, that is what I wanted to know. Good. Everybody who has that package make a stealth check. Stealth okay. plus dex. And stealth plus dex. And what's the, what's the stealth plus DM? So it's plus, it's plus three for the stealth package. And... Okay, plus two for my dex. <laughs> 16 yeah, should be good enough. I would think. <laughs> so these guys are going to have to. Oh. All right. King well... Beth, probably, if, if they scored anything over 12, too. I mean, this is going to be. They won't even know us as we cruise on by, right? Yeah. So what? So Keith, what'd you get for your stealth check? I got twelve. Okay. And yes. what about Beth? Ten. Okay. Oh. We are we are like ninjas in the night. Oh, shit. <laughs> so yeah, the you guys with your with your stealth package, <clears throat> with your stealth activated, <clears throat> it doesn't. <clears throat> excuse me. It doesn't make you. Uh, it doesn't make you go predator or invisible or anything. It it blends to make you the same color as the rest of the bulkhead, and so um, you guys float on up, and the two idiots in sensor uh, the sensor control suite notice nothing. All the sensor operators on this ship are drunk. Yeah. Or blind. Yeah, I, I think they might have vision problems. Ah, they've been drinking wood alcohol. They've been drinking wood <laughs> alcohol. Yes. <laughs> yes. They're probably bored. They've gone blind. Uh, They're probably bored. You know? Yeah, I that would too. be. That's, I don't know how anybody you know, saves entertainment space. There's be been nobody here in months. Now it's going to get interesting. Yes. <laughs> interesting. There is no. There's so I assume where we no, are is. There's no brig listed. I'm going to think that uh, probably number 10, uh, which is listed as unassigned space. I'm thinking that's probably a brig. Um, and that the reason why I ask is because that will play in um, at some point. So, where are where are we floating up to? So you this, you flew you up at fourteen. You flew up right here, just right, outside right. of engineering control, uh, which is aft at number twenty. Oh. And then, of course, the engineering stores are up here, and uh, regular stores are here. Now this looks like open space. Yeah. So one of the things about so, this is a good time for a drink grenade. <laughs> so very similar to the both the Osiris and all of the Harriers, is that um, Sindalian designs waste a lot of space. Um, because Sindalian ships um, put uh, almost put um, as much thought into how it looks as uh, as uh, how powerful it is. And this ship was practically still wrapped in bubble wrap when you found it. I mean, it was practically brand new. It, I don't think, that, other than its maiden voyage or its shakedown cruise, it had never been been used. So. This thing was, I mean, it still smelled like a new car stereo when they got into it. Um, this, it has, you know, uh, wood wood paneling, you know, like oak wood on the inside of the hallways. The center of the 
of the corridors are lined with a red and gold brocade uh, carpet. There are brass railings everywhere. I mean, there's there are Sindalian tapestries hanging down, you know, every uh, every meter or, or two meters or so down the halls. I mean, it it is it is as much to look at as to be feared in what it's capable of. Yeah. But you guys float up, and uh, I mean, there is an iris valve aft and an iris valve four. We want to go to the engineering control room, I believe. Yes, aft. Okay. Let's, I'm going to be watching our four while they're opening the aft. So I'll watch the four. So, so you're aft. watching the Ford uh, iris valve. Um, mm -hmm. The rest of you are, are I assume. Uh, Keith is leading the way to to aft. I will happily lead the way if uh, Tim can just open the iris valve. I guess. Yeah, open says me. Okay. Yeah, I have returned, my see? love. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> what do we see? Do that. There we go. So. You guys open this iris valve, and in the engineering control room, uh, there is a, a, a flurry of activity. There are two engineers in here, um, and obviously the door opens, uh, so uh, they know that something is going on. Oof, yeah. They turn around, and they see you. We're seizing the ship for uh, King Herrick. Yeah, lay down uh -huh. your arms or die. That's right. Yeah, you should shut the fuck up. No, this drink I'm for me. Motherfucking <laughs> <laughs> I'll drive and draw my officer's sword. Okay. And how do these nerds respond? <laughs> They're engineers. They're ob obviously automatic nerds. <laughs> I'm assuming I'm basing it on life experience. Uh, we could go the other way with it and try to bullshit them, you know? Uh, <laughs> They're smarter than us. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> I don't know. We're at the full battle I don't know. I'm a yeah. academy grad and I dropped yeah. in, I graduated to the top 80%. What the fuck? What the fuck is one of them going to have? A fucking pistol? The top 20%. Or battle crest and shit. And, and yeah, I would just about if I were in their position, I would comply. Yeah, so I, I mean, there's, we get the initial flex. Mm -hmm. I guess Guys, it's all I'm throw in a train grenade, don't you? Don't you want to do that? So we might. Oh, no, be able I'll to... run my fucking claws through their face if I have to. They got they got four engineers to run the ship, so we might need them for stuff if we want to try and use the ship to fire upon everybody else. It'd be better to an initiative. Yeah, everybody can go ahead and roll initiative. I think if we make an example out of one of them, the rest will probably come. If it comes down to it. Um, wow. 11. All right. Let's do it. Okay. I sucked. I sucked bad. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. After y'all beat up on him a little bit, I'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> now, how big I haven't had a chance to use my fabulous package yet. <laughs> yeah, and you paid a lot for it. Yeah, I did. I paid three point five million credits for that shit, but it's now I'm I'm biologically enhanced to be fabulous. I was gonna say I'm I'm sure that's what you tell all the girls. I haven't had a chance to use my fabulous package yet. Yeah, well, I mean, it's definitely you know. So, uh, these two guards or not guards, these two engineers immediately reach down uh, for sidearms. Uh, Beth, you are guarding this, uh, this Ford, uh, iris valve. What do you, are, are you holding your position? 
Um, I thought I was at the front and yelling at everybody. That's what no, I Keith, Keith, Keith led the way in. You were, you were. Yeah, I led the way in. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. there's not anybody back there right now. N you, well, the Iris Valve door is closed. So the, these oh. doors are are they they okay. they come in and close in sections like in a circular. They're basically big buttholes. In the yeah, wall. I was just um, gonna say like the buttholes. <laughs> 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 so, oh, it's the only it's called an it. anus. <laughs> <laughs> no, but all on this ship is a bunch of assholes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they have eight <laughs> doors. Uh, eight uh, doors. Next week on Spaceballs. So, yeah, no, there's no window. Uh, so it's closed. Okay. Um, I'll uh, I'll take a shot at whoever's reaching for their gun. Okay. Uh, yeah, what are you shooting? Um, I have not taken the Sindalian heavy laser pistol for a spin yet. That seems kind of fun. That's a lot of damage, damn. Yeah, they they are those those pistols aren't aren't a joke. Okay, Just don't well, miss. yeah, they shouldn't have fucked with me, I guess. I got eight. Okay, oh, that uh, just hit. You your decks? Yeah. Oh, it'd be nine actually because of the, the I get better decks with the battle uh, dress, right? Yeah, so that's a little bit better. Okay. Jeez. You guys <laughs> are using uh, basic combat armor, uh, <laughs> so they have thirteen protection. That's disappointing that they just hang out in combat armor. Well, I mean, you know, the the ship is under under picket alert. I mean, oh, I'm not bitching at you about it. I was just really hoping that they would be. We're bitching at them because they're not wearing ship shoes. Yeah, I don't. I don't think crying about it will get their combat armor off. But whatever. That's sixteen for okay. damage. Okay. So this guy. him so that I can actually use this. There we go. There we go. Okay, so Beth <laughs> kind of turns around, takes a takes a, a a step and fires around uh um Keith uh, or kind of ducks and fires uh you know under keith's uh left side and hits this uh, engineer as he's spun around in his chair catches him right in the chest and you can see this laser stitch a, a smoldering mark up his uh his armor um but he does not go down um gregor what would you like to do i moved to there I fire. Okay. Yeah, so these guys are like here. Okay. Here. And I have uh, dex 12, and my suit gives me a DM of plus three. Yep. So that's plus five. Yeah. 17. Holy shit. Uh... <laughs> And I'm wow. firing a laser carbine. Which one of them are you shooting? The cartridge one, which is so 4D. Wh which guy are you hitting? This guy or the, oh, the one that was shot before? Okay. So, yeah, a couple of things are going to happen. Um, so that is that is plus nine to damage. Oh, Earth. you're going to fuck up some controls, but that's okay. There's stores right next to here. Holy Ooh, shit. he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, 
we are going to find out is what we're going to do. Uh... Well, I hope he's dead. Fuck, he's already taken some damage, I think. I shot him right in the left eye. I don't know how much combat armor protects you, but it don't matter. So this guy, uh, you shoot him, and uh, and he does crumple to, like, just basically practically partially melts in his chair. But um, he, well, we're going to see. Um, is he, is he dead? Hmm. How bad is he effed up? Uh, first of all, roll roll one d. Maybe if he got thirty points of damage, he'd be dead already. One. Ooh, this isn't looking. <laughs> this is not looking good for him. <laughs> and um, uh, roll two d. Four one. So this guy, um, you your laser carbine hits him right in the faceplate. Uh, you get a headshot, and uh, it burns away most of his combat armor's helmet and a good portion of his face. Um, he he is unconscious and uh will definitely die if he were if he survives at all he's gonna need some serious uh cybernetics um other other than that he he's potato uh, yeah. Baked potato potentially uh the other engineer hmm. he's just pants <laughs> i hope so he may, actually, yes. <laughs> he might. Uh, uh, we're pretty Sindalian'd up, so, I mean. Hell, we're still, I'm still camouflaged. I never turned it off. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he can see a blur there. <laughs> he drops his pistol. Uh, I mean, he's just using, he's just armed with a snub pistol. Um, he drops his pistol and raises his hands, and he surrenders. Good. Very we, wise. We strain him. Okay, so you're you're going to restrain him. Um, yeah, the the other guy. Um, I don't know. It's up to you. Um, he will die unless given prompt medical assistance. But I mean, even if he survives, um, he's gonna be. There's no way to live. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. melted potato face. Yeah. We're I gonna don't know. I mean, like I said, cybernetics and whatnot can do quite a bit. Um, it, it's gonna leave a mark, though. Potatoes well. long to be in the ground, though. <laughs> yes, that is that is their home. That's um, the cost of doing business. Yeah. That's right. Cool. So yeah, this guy surrenders. Um, he doesn't. He doesn't say anything. Um, he he. This he is um, a, Dr a Dranaxian regular. He is part of the Dranaxian Navy. Yeah. He's not a mercenary. Well, well yeah. Well, hey, I well. think it's time for you to try to take over the ship from the uh, computer in here. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to go ahead and jack into the computer. So yeah, and uh, the, the, tell my baby I'm home. <laughs> the first you know, like thing in here, the first immediate thing in here these these two pieces here these are the fuel processors, um, and then of course aft uh, all of this is jump drive and maneuver drive. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to the control power plant and jump drive right. and maneuver drive. But like point. these are these are computers yes. right over here. Yes, uh, this is and engineering control. Um, yeah, in fact, uh, from these computers, they are tied in and have direct access to jump control, as well as you know uh, life support and 
several uh, other, yeah. other things. I, I want to do emergency lockout of all systems and everything and retake control of the ship. Mm, it's not a secondary bridge. So I need to get to the bridge to do that. Is yeah, that I mean, saying? if you want to take take full control, you have to go to the bridge. These these consoles. We can here, lock out their maneuver. You yeah, could we lock can... out maneuver drive. You could lock out jump drive. Let's just turn the power off. You could turn off gravity. You could turn off. Uh, let's air turn flow. off. Let's turn off all the power to the whole ship. Power. Why it don't down. we use? Why don't we like get control of stuff and lock out? Things like weapons and um, so yeah, weapons. Maneuvers. So, for instance, thirteen and fourteen here and here. Uh, thirteen is fire control for the missile barbette. Fourteen is fire control for the torpedo uh, barbette. We, we can just divert all power from weapons, comms, sensors. We can just not allow them power to do anything. That's true. Yeah, and then. I mean, you know, theoretically, where you where you are sitting, you could turn off the power plant entirely. Yeah, but yeah, they need to surrender, or we will like. Yeah. Do that so yeah, right? the first thing they yeah the first thing we, yeah first thing we do is we cut power to the comms so they can't talk right, and and then yeah, I we, agree with, and then we cut power, uh, to their sensors so they can't see. Then weapons, and then uh, life support, and then we turn gravity everywhere except for here in engineering at three times the normal level, and and see how that works out. So <laughs> three times the normal level. I don't know that. That sounds excessive. So at max, one point, max, at one point what? five, you can barely move. Right, but I want to hurt them. You know, you put the squeeze on them for a minute, and then you let off on it, and you say, hey, we got the ship. Do you surrender? So, I mean, standard gravity times three would probably kill people. <laughs> do, do the half, do the part, you said half hurts, right? Yeah, 1.5. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. Well, yeah, so, Earth gravity being one, uh, 1.5, uh, people are, are debilitated. Like, and I mean, they if can anybody's move, carrying it's, something, it's, it's that's not great. Right. What, what do you yeah. think the max is, though? I mean, you know, we, we really <laughs> should know what the max well, is. Well, like, like two I normal wouldn't people go over to G9 because it'll rip the aorta off your heart. Well, well the don't... ship will be filled in. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we also want uh, there's a re them there's on a reason line. why There's a reason why okay, F-16s okay. Uh, and F-15s and F-17s computers won't let the plane fly yeah. do more than 9 Gs. Yeah. Right. Well, well, Keith, because it'll rip the A order off the pilot's heart. Well, uh, <laughs> Keith and, and Gregor are the, are the engineers. Uh, so, I mean, so, yeah. yeah. It, Y'all start doing your engineering thing, and uh, I will recon the iris and make sure nobody comes in. Can I uh, act? Can I actually input orders to the maneuver drive? Uh, I don't know. No. Uh -huh. But I can turn it off. But you we can, can turn, turn off, off all the power. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you can cut power to maneuver drive. Yeah, yeah. Whoever the power wrench is, turn the power off to the comms first, the sensors, then the weapons, and then life support. You, uh, you, you, you power it down. There's still air everywhere. No one dies. And then turn the grav, uh, on to one point five because Captain Beth wants us to be nice and make them our friends. Right. So Gregor, play them all you. do you want me to do it or do you want to do it? I'm plus two. What are plus you? Three. Go ahead, all sir. Right. <laughs> this is how they know that we're here. <laughs> now they'll find out. Yeah. They had 10. Okay. So you turn power off uh, to comm sensors and uh, what else? Life support. Okay. And weapons. And weapons. Yeah, okay. everything. And J drive, M drive. They, they, nobody gets power to anything. It, you know, it's just idling, right? 
Oh yeah. yeah. It, it was yeah. currently in station keeping. So yeah. uh that there. And then it's quite to, yeah. It slowly is its orbit will Somebody's gonna figure out what's going on in a real quick. So here. that's gonna take about sixty seconds uh per uh per item. But we'll yeah. start with the uh, we'll start with comms, work our way through. Okay, so you are uh you're cutting power to comms. Uh we'll see if these idiots notice. Hey, well, let's search. <laughs> they're gonna notice that their comms just went dead. Nice. Uh what are you cutting next? Uh next would be um Sorry, uh, sensors. Okay. Uh, they have. They're still up on the bridge. They're still wondering about comms. Um, and when you turned off comms, are you turning off all external or like all comms, like or just external comms? What are you cutting? Are you no no internal communications either? Or I think we should cut off all comms. Uh, what do you think, Tank? That's what I think. I just think everybody should take a moment just to sit there and think about what's happening. Just and then after right. minutes, no cell phones, just live yeah. in the moment. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wonder what's happening for a minute and then we'll talk because, you yeah. know, you got to apply a little pressure. Someone might have had been thinking about, man, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Just one more turn on Tetris. And okay. yeah, okay, I'm gonna go. Oh shit, I can't move, and I gotta Captain go to the bathroom. Captain agrees too, so we're we're turning off comms for the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and sensors, uh, you're cutting sensors. That's pretty obvious. Are you? Uh, now keep in mind there are internal uh, part of the sensors package, of course, is internal, but that that would be. Hmm, would that be controlled here? Probably not. The power. Well, what I'm wondering, though, is I would think that probably security, uh, internal security sensors would be on a completely different circuit. I don't think that that would be a part of your regular sensors package. I mean, assuming that, you know, the people that designed the ship had a brain. Um, oh, wait, right. I designed the ship. <laughs> I, would, I would think that probably not. Um so they they have no no eyes and ears on the outside. Um, it's helpful. Now I'm sorry, Beth. You said what? Somebody said they were going to to look somewhere else. I am in the right out. I'm hiding just there. Out. Yeah, I'm right next to the door in the corner, hidden, just waiting for somebody to try to access fucking engineering. Okay. Yeah, Where? I want to be pointed at the door when it opens oh. too, because since comms are down, they're gonna come down here. Right. Uh, somehow I got rid of. Okay. I'm huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want. <laughs> How did I get to be so big? Okay. So. <laughs> Hey Ting, you want you want to borrow a trank grenade to throw out there? <laughs> oh, I've got I've got lots of stuff. Uh, I've only got three left. Uh, yeah, what the hell is that? That's the real Rasputin. <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> he's a he's the lover of the Queen of Russia, the Empress. Okay, so um, so you're opening While this. being a monk. So Tim, you're opening this <laughs> iris valve. Um. No, I'm just waiting for somebody to open it. I'm hiding in the corner. Okay. When you come in. I'm I'm like right over here in the corner. Yeah. 
when you come in this fucking way, I'm going to stick something in you. I'm just hiding in the corner with my chameleon mod. If you'd like a stealth roll, I can give you that. Uh, you know, I'm just hiding there. I'm waiting. But, I mean, I have I have crazy stealth fucking shit with this fucking battle dress. So, what? 12, 12 stealth in the hallway. Okay. Or the, the thing. Just hiding, waiting out. Fuck around, find out. Okay. Uh, what, Beth, are, are you just hiding in that corner? What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing, yeah, because um, it's better to have like two guns pointing at you than one okay. when you're getting intimidated. Yeah, yeah. And so, I'm sorry, Ting, what kind of weapon are you having prepped? Oh, I, I, I've I, got my fucking uh, claws. You come this way, I'm going to reach out and stick claws in you, and it's going to fucking hurt. So, there is a problem <laughs> yeah. with that, in that you're wearing battle dress. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll use a piston fist. Okay. Uh, yeah. Obey the fist. You even need a piston fist if you're in battle dress. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you can just be like ready to like... <laughs> I, can, I can I can I can grapple people and be just as effective as anything else. So I mean I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't mm, let me I definitely can grapple while I'm in battle dress. Piston fist. It's a glove. Yeah, I know, but uh I mean you guys are underestimating how big battle dress is. I don't know that piston fist would fit. Okay, I'll just be unarmed. Don't you have a knife? I don't need a knife. So it is. A, <laughs> it is a. It's actually K bar not, rules. So piston, K bar rules. So the piston fist is not a is not a glove. It is a metal forearm brace with a built-in pneumatic ram. I would say that if you wanted to use the piston fist, you could. I would use the piston fist then. But it does not add your strength, uh, your strength modifier to damage. Nope. But I mean, I can still it punch you in the face. Straight up, does three D plus two. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I mean, that, so yeah, you're, you've got a piston fist on your right arm uh, of your battle dress, and then mm -hmm. Beth, uh, you're st you've still got your laser pistol, right? That's right. Okay. Uh, everybody roll a new initiative. Six. Nine. Finally, I'm a little bit better than what I was. Uh, Ting, what is your dexterity? Uh, right now, 13. Okay. So that's right. Okay. Oh, damn it. That was the wrong fucking button. Sorry. <laughs> no, not you, me. <laughs> I mean, I was just trying to give you some fucking moral support, you know? <laughs> gotten uh, spoiled uh, doing um, maps on Incarnate, because if you screw up like that, you just go, oh, I'll just undo it. Yeah, there's no undo.
So somebody, oh, we got people going to come check out the problem. Well, they were in the, they were probably in the gun turrets. Are they people or as? So, so uh, they are people. Um, okay. So Ting and Beth make a recon plus intellect check. I had a plus one for my eyes. Well, it's not I eyes, got, it's ears. But I got nine. Okay. Yeah, I got nine. Okay, so you guys can hear on the other side of this iris door, you can he and you can kind of feel through the uh, through the the wall. You can feel that the other iris door at the end of that hallway has opened. All right, brace yourselves. I want to lock this one with my security baby. I love you. I'm home code. <laughs> okay, so you you lock the iris valve. Uh, so yeah. so key. So you'll be able to lock the iris valve on your turn. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, so I'll take it. Uh, what are you cutting power to next? I'm actually going to do the gravity next. Hmm. Okay. So you <laughs> you are cutting power to gravity. Uh, Beth, what are you doing? Are you just holding action until that door, until someone tries to get in that door? Um, yeah, I'm attaching my magnet shoe thing, too. Okay, like, yeah, I mean, you guys would have your that. own your own comms. Yeah, everybody prepare. Ting, you can go ahead and make a uh, uh, electronics computers plus intellect or education check. Do I get to add my software detect uh, intrusion shit and all that? Uh, you don't really need to because you're not you're not you don't need to break it. Uh, well, you're already uh, in seven. Yeah. Okay, so you lock this iris door. Um, it, yeah, I mean the computer's like. You know, yes, dear, and locks the door. I love you, Raspeed. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna bring her roses? Yes. <laughs> I love this ship when we found it. I, yeah. Uh, should we? Should we retreat? back into the other room next round maybe yeah we sure could we could um human shield with the engineers if we feel like it yeah 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 with your with your one engineer that's tied up okay so these guys what are these guys gonna do well, they're trying to open the door, and the door is clearly locked. <laughs> um, and so you you can see them, uh, you know, you can see on this side the pad is being accessed, and the door is locked. Um, yeah. And they're, they're getting upset. Yeah, they're probably getting a little pissed. Uh, Gregor, what are you doing? You can cut power to something else if you want it. I'm thinking about cutting 25% of the power to life support. I can make the air get a little thin in here. Yes. Now, that will take a little bit of time because, of course, I mean, the, the cutting the power. Air's take, already like, here. Yeah, Just cutting, gotta... cutting the power will take 60, will take 60 seconds. But um, there is, of course, already air pumped into the Atmo in here. So um, that can take a little bit of time. But sooner or later, I mean... The air is going to start getting stale. Uh, probably. Not very much. It just means that they only have. It's like they're at fourteen thousand feet instead right. of zero. Right. <laughs> they're going to be a little short of breath. Yeah, you're probably talking. They're going to start. Uh, they're going to start seeing. Uh, the effects of that in about eight hours, uh, the air in the atmosphere is going to start thinning out. 
Uh, you can go ahead and make a. Uh, go ahead and make a engineering life support plus intellect or education check. Nine. Nice. All right. So yeah. Uh, so you're in the process of shunting. Uh, you know, seventy-five percent of the power to that. Uh, we're back to Keith. Uh, so the gravity turns off. Awesome. Um, I think uh, next would be internal security systems, if I can get power turned off to those. Okay, so I... Let's see here. Control. Maybe what we should do is close the iris valve behind us and open the one in front. And then, yeah, as they float across, turn the fucking power back onto the grav and the fucking. <laughs> 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 Can we if, put? Yeah, if we the turn the gravity up <laughs> to in the in the fucking. No, but like they can't get in, and they're fucked yeah. until they bring us to the bridge and put us in charge. So internal, yeah. so internal security and whatnot is going to be something that would be handled from the bridge. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'll do weapons. Okay. Uh, where is it? Seventeen. Well, I'm trying to find. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, okay. So you are. So you're gonna. You're cutting power to weapons. Correct. Okay. Go ahead and make another uh, engineering power plus uh, intellect or engineering education check. Okay. Uh, it's uh, 13. Woo! Okay. Uh, I think you succeeded. Okay. And make a recon plus intellect check. Okay. Let me see. 10. So you note that the... that... Um, that Somebody is attempting to uh, remount power for for comms. Nice. Well, they want to talk to you. Yeah, right, but you know they're trying to send in a signal. Yeah, but we should. Okay, uh, yeah. yeah, we should. We should make sure all that's on our terms and not theirs. Yeah. So one yeah. of the, one of the things is if you look over here. There is an engineering control room on the bridge. Right. Oh, okay. So yeah. we're just going to try and do stuff from there. So you guys have like a nerd battle. Over yeah, there. we... Nerd so. battle. Nerd battle. Well, <laughs> yeah, while, while you're nerd battling, someone can actually start powering down the power plant then, and, and that ends that. Well, it'll prolong it. Because, I mean, you, you, if restarting a fusion reactor isn't something you just... It's not like you're flipping on a light. I'm talking yeah. about physically disconnecting the power things from the different <laughs> yeah. systems. Physical disconnection. Yeah, that. That. Wait, are you trying work. to ruin it though? Like, you could really fuck it up if we do that wrong. Yeah, so you do it fast. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> The faster you do it, the less chance of an error. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Will, will my, will my car be like my laser car being disconnected? Yeah. yeah, you do it fast, there's less chance of an error. I learned that in my computer science classes. That's why every computer toolkit has a roll of duct tape and a hammer. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> so, uh, so, Keith. <laughs> I just, so I just you, use a plumber's rich. Well, yeah, there's, yeah, you know. Uh, so, Beth, you can see that uh, these guys um, are uh, are really starting to get serious. You can see that the, the iris valve is starting to stress, like they are doing something to try and get this thing open. Like, they're almost trying to manually pry it open. Okay. Um... Well, they probably are manually trying to pry it open. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we should close the valve behind us. Okay. Um, when is your your turn is next? So I'll tell you to do that, and then I'm gonna get out the lady PGMP. 
and have it ready for when they open it so that they back off because <laughs> it's not very much room. You're going plasma again. Okay. All right. I'm going terrorist. Like you well, know. you know, if if you allow me, uh, I can try to set a booby trap and we can just set it off when they enter this area. No, no, we don't necessarily want to kill them. We want them to take us to the bridge and put us in charge. All right. Because okay. we're reclaiming the ship for King Herod. Okay. That's true. Yeah. We do need these people to help us or we cannot fly this ship. <clears throat> Which, I mean, okay. yeah, that's an obstacle out of the way. But still, better uh, to have it on our side. I wish we knew who the captain was. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll, I guess I'll wait to see what I do on my turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah. so what are you doing, Beth? Oh, you're you're arming yourself with the PGMP. All right, so you're yeah. you <laughs> you're holstering your pistol, reaching on your back, and and like asking Egon to turn you on. <laughs> Everybody you're, you're, slide away from it. <laughs> you're, you're moving through the iris valve, though, right? You're moving into engineering, right? Me? No, no, yeah. no. Oh, you're gonna you're stepping up and you're just saying open the fucking thing and let you shoot? No, I'm saying close this one so that they can't get into engineering. We're it's been we're in the way. Okay. So well, they I gotta will, go through us. She wants you to lock. close the door behind you so that they can't get if they do get past you, they can't get in right away. Yeah, it's All our right. leverage that they can't get into right. engineering. Yeah, I'm just I thinking will... the door is open and yeah. Yeah, I I'll I'll lock the one behind us there with my special love juice uh, code. Okay, go ahead and make another computers plus intellect or education check. Uh, oh, eight. Okay, that is successful. Meanwhile, uh, these guys. Can I uh, yell out something? Yeah, what do you want to yell out? Yell out. We are here in the Prince Her in the name of Prince Herrick, the rightful ruler of Drenex. We're here to reclaim the ship. Don't make this any harder than it is. There's no reason that you have to die. This is Ting Hansen. King of I mean yeah. Lord the of the Battle. Warrior of <laughs> species. Lawyer so, yeah, you should bow Lawyer, down. King, King of the Night. <laughs> Power punch. <laughs> but no, really. I, I, I'll be like, no, we're we're here on behalf. Of I thought the, you were. I thought you were a knight of something. Yeah, he's a knight of Ingersoll. Yeah, I'm Ting Anson, knight of well, Ingersoll. All of you are knights of Drenax. Technically, yeah, knight of Drenax. I mean, I don't know and, if that's currently yeah. being recognized, but if things go well. <laughs> right, well, you know, this is the first salvo of trying to do the peace treaty talking. You know. Uh, while they're trying to break through the door, you know, uh, maybe a little fear mixed in there because, you know, I am a motherfucking, you know, sure people have heard that people die around us. And, and so, yeah, I want to go ahead and I'd be scared if we invaded, um, yeah, some, yeah, if we invaded, yeah. Country. we're like, we have a nuclear device and we're willing to use it. <laughs> Well, technically, that's not. I mean, you, you kind of do through this door is um, a very large fusion reactor. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, we we will make this ship go fucking, you know, react. We'll, we'll break this motherfucker. <laughs> so, uh, make a. You can go ahead and make a persuasion plus social check. And all right. And, uh, I guess yeah. Your your fabulous mod would kick in. It ha it's 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 parts of my brain have been altered to make right. my reasoning and wording and, and all of that. Right. It's, yeah. You, yeah. Can, you can talk good. Right. So I got <laughs> two for the and not uh, just look two good. for the persuasion, one for the fabulous, and then two more for my social score. And look at that. Okay. I spit that golden fire out at him. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm here with Captain Queen Beth, you know, and yeah. This they is remember our, us. We were yeah, there when the yeah, Civil War happened. This, yeah. This is our fucking shit now. So, um, yeah. So, uh, 
you can see you immediately notice or Beth, you notice because you're you're pointing in that direction. He's talking while he's he's fiddling with this computer. And you can see that that whatever strain is being put on this iris valve seems to stop for a moment. They're thinking through thinking this through, aren't they? Yeah, uh, the Marines uh, have uh, another issue. The first issue that they have is they need to uh, make a athletics dex check. Oh, phew. So they all are free floating, but they make the but they're doing fairly well in zero g. Uh, which honestly is surprising considering that they are Dranaxian Navy um, because most of those guys seem like they're kind of idiots. But anyways, um, they seem to be doing fairly well. Um, yeah. And uh, so you turned off gravity ship-wide, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, you guys are also now free-floating. Everybody needs to make a, uh athletics dex check. Oh wait, you have you have, you have we have mag boots. boots. Yeah, you've got mag boots. Never mind. So, <clears throat> yeah, you guys are fine. So, great. I, mean, I got my even though I'm sitting in this chair at this console, I got my boots on the floor. Right, yeah, I mean you're fine. You know, <laughs> and all the chairs have seat belts. You're good. So, Gregor, what are you doing next? I'm crushing this chair. <laughs> You're trying to prevent them from accessing the comms, right? Isn't that what's going on? I thought that's what you would do. Yeah, it, it, they, I that detected okay? that they're trying to get to our comms. Can you stop them? Get to their yeah. comms, I mean? They were trying to reseed it from the bridge. Well, what do I need to do? Uh, you could make another uh, engineering power. So you got a couple of choices here. Uh, you could make another engineering power plus intellect or education check, uh, basically superseding them, which kind of starts the, the nerd battle all over again. Or um, you could try something a little bit more um, a little okay. bit more insidious. You could try uh, basically you could do computers, uh, uh, electronics, computers, plus intellect or engineering in an attempt to cut off the engineering control section entirely from the bridge, which their only recourse from that point would be to go to computer uh, control or computer access, which would be an 18. They'd have to go over to this other room here and fiddle fuck around with the computers in order to uh, get that basically turned back on yeah but i'm only plus one in computers yeah but you have ting's uh intrusion software bonus yeah Two. oh do i so that makes a plus three what's yeah. your what's your software bonus ting two plus two so that puts you up to plus th oh that's pretty good yeah <laughs> That'll do it. I hope. <laughs> and with I mean, the back it can't be harder than twelve, right? With the back door, yes, that gets you in, uh, and you are in the process of uh, hacking in and basically removing uh, the the software uh, controls from the bridge, uh, basically turning off their engineering control. Oh, section. Well, Thank you. We'll take oh, another six. Jeez. Six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can it'll, it'll take another 60 seconds. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> Am I using Java? <laughs> yes. No, no, not Java. JavaScript. It's even worse. JavaScript. Hell no. <laughs> it's, it's way worse than what you I think. stopped using that 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we're going to we go can do Python. Yeah, uh, yeah Python's <laughs> really not that bad. It's, I, the thing I don't like about Python I, is I all don't the like shit syntax. that it has to put on the I don't like computer. syntax. Uh, what do they call it? Hypertext. Well, it's, Python will change what it's doing based on the situation of <laughs> right, right, which is the one situation why. you put it in. It's now, you know, that's that one of the reasons why it has now such a huge <laughs> control folder on whatever computer it's tar that you're targeting. It, Python does things very strangely. I mean, it, I, I can't argue with the results, but it is a very odd system. Yeah. Uh, we will go ahead and break here, and we will pick this up next week with Keith's uh, next <laughs> idea of what is he going to turn off next? <laughs> maneuver drive. <laughs> maneuver drive. Maneuver drive. <laughs> we can, yeah, so we can let them jump out if they want. <laughs> cool. All right. So we will pick this up next week. Uh, in, and in between, I'm going, well... Yeah, no, I'm going to say that all of you, uh, you guys have really thought this out and done this exceptionally well. Everybody gets one XP point. You can spend yes. on any any skill that you want or, um, yeah, you can spend it on anything you want. I will let you know what I spend it on. Yeah, you can uh, think about it throughout the week, week. and, uh, and uh, we'll have that spent for next week. I want to put so art performer. Oh, thanks. That was fun. I'll put yeah. art performer. Uh, up to one. Okay. Yeah. So when I do my podcasting and video shoots and all that, I can perform better. Right. That's a good idea. Yeah. And and uh, maybe get a uh, a a, um, a task chain bonus uh, using your fabulous mom. Yeah. See if I can incorporate all that shit in. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, you will on the PR market, but, uh, yeah, yeah. So hopefully this goes on really well. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. I will see you next week then. Actually, I'll, I'll see you Friday. Yeah. Friday. <laughs> good night. Okay. Have a good night.